Health Insurance Administration on Wednesday released its annual report on the most profitable hospitals in Taiwan in 2022. Lin Kou Chang'e Memorial Hospital topped the list for the sixth year in a row, having made a profit of 3.479 billion NT. Two newcomers to the top five earners were National Chenggong University Hospital and Yida Hospital, while National Taiwan University Hospital fell to number eight. On Tuesday, Lin Kou Chang'eng Memorial Hospital opened the 700 million NT state-of-the-art surgery training center. According to the latest data from the National Health Insurance Administration, the hospital was for the sixth year in a row the most profitable in Taiwan. According to data from 2021, the biggest earner was Lin Kou Chang'eng Memorial Hospital, and the second was Kaohsiung Chang'eng Memorial Hospital. During 2021, Linko Chang'e Memorial Hospital made a profit of 3.479 billion NT. In second place was Kaohsiung Chang'e Memorial Hospital with 3.263 billion NT in profits. The third was China Medical University Hospital with 2.353 billion NT. The two Chang'eng Memorial Hospitals, however, had made less money than the year before. Lin Kou Chang'eng Memorial Hospital and Kaohsiung Chang'eng Memorial Hospital made about 800 to 900 million NT less. From the financial reports, it's mostly due to less income from their stock investments. The fourth and fifth most profitable hospitals were National Chenggong University Hospital and Ida Hospital, with profits of 1.737 billion NT and 1.389 billion NT, respectively. That's the first time they make it to the top five. National Taiwan University Hospital fell from the top five to number eight, having made 1.107 billion NT. Ida Hospital and National Chenggong University Hospital made more from their non-medical income streams than in 2020. Seeing each hospital's overall gains or losses is great, but we have to further get a grasp on the state of the profits for medical services. What the general public wants to know is how to interpret these financial reports. They want to know how fairly the funds were distributed at each level and in each area. Meanwhile, Tu Chang Chang'eng Memorial Hospital made the biggest losses, followed by the also recently established National Taiwan University Cancer Center. The third biggest loser was Mado Xinlo Hospital.